What's up, you guys? This your girl, Esther Hall, aka Lil E. I'm here back with another video. My top five dogs. Um, I kind of wanted to be comfortable with this video, so I got on my my uh robe. You know, I just wanted to get comfortable. It's the last video of the year, so I wanted to just go out, just be on camera, and just be comfortable. You know, so uh. Here we go, my top five dogs, my top five, um, my number number five would be the American Pitbull Terrier, because I respect that breed for what it was bred for, and I respect its power, its intelligence, its athleticism, and its beauty, and I respect the breed. You know, that was the breed that was here. That was uh, America's dog during the war times and so forth and so on. And all the beautiful, all the great uh, bloodlines of the American Pit Bull Terrier. You know, like the Jeep, Red Bull Jocko, Nigarino, Turtle Buster, uh, Chinaman, uh, Macho Buck. Uh, it's so many bro lines I ain't gonna even try to name all of them but yeah American Pitbull Terrier my five and number four would be let me think uh, I'll say the Borble kind of fell in love with the Borble this year and the origins, you know, from Africa. And, uh, you know, they bred to hunt lions and all that good stuff. So, so very powerful breed and very beautiful breed. Very uh, majestic. Just a real nice all-around dog, master dog, you know. So, yeah, the bull master. My third pick, and my third one, would be the Cane Corso. You know, I've been really learning a lot about the Cane Corso. And, uh, you know, just a powerful breed. You know, bred to, bred to um, you know, protect, be a guard dog, just all around good guardian. And... Just a nice dog. What else to say about it? And the impressive canary, that would be my third one. Because that's an impressive dog, too. And I'm still kind of learning their history, their origins. So, I just know they're a beautiful dog. Intelligent, strong, very protective. And so, yeah. And my second one would be... Um, let me see. I say German. I say German Shepherd. German Shepherds are a good dog, you know. We already know they was bred in uh, Germany. You know, they heard, they heard. They are all around dogs. They heard. They uh, protect, they protection dogs. Blind CNR dogs. Police dogs, rescue dogs, whatever task you put in front of them, they are multitasker. So, German Shepherd. So my second one and my first and my the last one, my first one, would be uh, the American Bully. We all know the history and the origins of the American Bully. No need to get into that, but you know the American Bully is the exaggerated version. Of the American Pitbull Terrier. You know, the temperament is supposed to be real calm and laid back. That goes to say, not every American bully bloodline has that calm temperament. It depends on the bloodline you use. Dogs might have a little fire to them. And me personally, I like my dogs to have a balance of fire. And a good temperament, you know. 
can be good in the house, around the house, good around kids. But when it's time to turn up, time to work, they do their job. And that's why I like the American Bully. You know, my style of bullies standards. I like the classics and the XLs. I just like big dogs. So that's what I prefer, the standards, classics, XLs, whatever. That's what I like, so... You know, and I hope everybody have a blessed, prosperous new year. You know, and hope all your plans and breedings and everything that uh that you got going for 2019 will be successful. And uh yeah, and hopefully, you know, uh, I just lost my train of thought that quick, but but anyway. I just want to say hello, y'all. Stay blessed, stay safe, happy New Year's, and all the other good stuff. And uh, I bless y'all. Keep bulldogging. Yeah.